Now I'm going to show you how we splice the double braided rope. In order to be able to splice, we need to be equipped with the right tools. We need to have a collection of feet up to half inch, things that I don't understand because in Europe we have the metric system. We need to have a pusher, a scissor, a knife by both and a marker to mark all the measurements we're going to do in our rope. I already measured the rope to the back running stay and as you can see it has two already two marks. These two marks means this is going to be right in the soft eye. If from this on we're going to measure the all other measures. This is going to be our main center. We're going to want to create an eye and the measure that we want from each side it's going to be more or less three to four inches that's going to mean seven to ten centimeters and then we're going to mark it i'm just going to do it roughly because more or less i know how much it is and then i just measure it This is okay. From the other side, we have the tip here. We're going to count five, five feet length. One, two, three, four, five. And in order, so it stopped we're going to create um, a knot. Which name is the knot to stop from sliding? Just, um, just a single hitch. A single hitch. So. And just do it. Look, I did it the other way around. So instead of doing like this with the loop, the loop should be like this and I go and pick it and it's not going anymore because the tip is here, oops, I pull it and it's not running, it's blocked. Now from the tip we're going to look out for our second mark that we need initially with the smallest feet we're gonna try to open it and try to bring the core outside it's a bit tricky it's not the easiest thing to do but oops until you start seeing oops I till you start seeing the white coming and you will want to to bring all off I can see oops the feet already Aha. And now we're just gonna this shouldn't be here but I can fix it now we're gonna pull it all out we are gonna type the end so this doesn't go nowhere just with a bit of masking type Now, after taking it out, you can see the cord is bigger than the cover. So we're going to milk it all the way back to where we have our knot. Our knot is here. And then we're going to fit it through to try to make it even. You're never going to be able to have it exactly the same measure, but as close as possible, it's good. Now, 
we're gonna mark it right where it entered. The next step is to put pull the core out and we want to mark a short feed length. A short feed length, if you notice on your feed, you have two marks. From the two marks until the end, that's what's considered a short feed length. And that's what we want to do. From the mark we have it, we're going to mark a short feed length. I'm gonna mark it. Then we're gonna count one and half. Now, all we need to do is to place the cover inside the core and the core inside the cover to be able to finish the splicing and we'll be done. But first we're going to need to taper the cover so we don't have a lump and does it create a stress concentration. We need it to go smooth and has a flow so it goes nicely. So we're going to count one inch from the first feedly mark so it's going to be more or less two and a half centimeters and we're going to start with the small feet we're going to start taking some strings we're going to take one and more or less on the same side you just give it give it a space you need you take another one you can take between five to six to eight you see how you according to rope how's the best one but between them give it a space of half an inch to the next one almost respecting the wrong one as you can, I'm sorry about the noise, as you can hear, we're still here on, in the boat yard in Shell Point Marina. So we already have Deutsch part six. six. I'm gonna do more two. Oops, okay, they won't fit. Peter made a desk for me so I could be working here on the shade. Here. Now we have all our strings and now we're gonna cut them. Really, we're gonna cut them near the cover. Remember that I told you they have more or less two side by side? You're gonna go down and cut them like that. Now you're just gonna Now we are going to put the cover into the core. On the second mark, where is the short feed length, we put the feeds in and we slide it until the mark of the half feed length that we placed it before. Well, the feed that you're going to choose, it's going to depend on the size of your, um, of your core, of your rope, so that's going to be up to you. need to be careful so it doesn't does this and damage the rope.
then we're just going to come out here. Where is the mark? See how we have it? Now we're going to pick our the end of our cover here. We're going to slide it in, insert it in here. Oops. We're going to use our pusher. slide it through. Now you're going to take it off and we're just going to do a knot so this doesn't slip. Now we are going to put the core into the cover. The core goes in the first fiddly mark we made. Oops. This one. Having have a reference to two marks, remember, to do the, uh, the eye, we have the first mark, we use it here. And now we're going to have the other mark as we're going to use it. Then we're going to fit it through. And we want to pass by. It's going to get start getting tougher. <laughs> and you have to apply a lot of strength. And to do that, you just pull it to make it easier and get to the part where it gets really difficult for me and I need to ask for Peter's help oops I just broke my table I think I better call Peter jeez It'd help if we had a better table. It's a bit hard. Oh, Jesus, yeah. Because I'm using a bit feed so then the core can go inside. That's why. You cannot use it with a small one. All right, that should be good, and then we just shoot out the side. All right. You're good to go. Just hold that. Now that we have all the feed inside the cover, we're going to place the end of the core on the end of the feed. And with the pusher, where's my pusher? We're going to feed it through. Not easy because it's having a lot of pressure there. <laughs> yep, I think I did it. No, I did it. No, no, I have to do it again. Didn't end up right. We have to do it again. Because it has required some strength and this slips because it's so compacted here, it wants to come out. <sighs> Try to jam it in. doesn't want to go. I need a hand? Yeah, I need your help. This one's a hard, this is a hard bit. And you'll hurt yourself I reckon. And this is still the difficult part. Because it, you need, it requires a lot of strength. It requires a smaller fit. But you need the big fit to make the, the cover easier for it to go through. Yeah, so the core can go inside because the core is quite chunky. 
There we go. You are ready. Now that Peter did the difficult part, I can take this up. I can take this. And we simply push it. Now we're gonna stretch our rope and we're gonna cut our core. First we're gonna mark it. We're gonna cut it. And we're going to do the same process that we did on the beginning when we selected the strings and we cut them. So here we're going to make them fluffy so then we won't have a lump here and make a, a stress concentration where we want it to flow. It's the same thing, same principle. Going to see the fluffy stuff. Now it's going to use, basically you just want it to be um, perpendicular. So it has um, a flow that goes and then when it feeds through, it goes like that. So I pick two. And it progressively gets thinner. I'm gonna give it a, more of a cut here. Still thick. Yeah, and now you just push it. Now we come from the beginning. Oops. See slowly it goes inside. We just still have a bit, so we just come from the top. And it's all inside. We have nothing outside. The core is inside. Now we still have the knot here. So we're gonna take the knot out, take the tape. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna taper the smallest ones. Basically, it's 45 degrees, or if it's too difficult to cut, just do like I do pick some strings and do different sizes. Now we're gonna do exactly the same stuff. We're gonna fit it through inside until it disappears. And the basic splicing is done. We're just gonna have to milk the rest. So now comes to the fun part. Remember when we did um, the jamming knot? Now we're going to do the same knot to a steady structure so we can milk. And then what you have to do, you need to milk the rope through until the white disappears. Uh, what the guys from the boatyard told me was instead of pulling it from the end that would be have um, a big knot of bonky stuff and then it's going to be more difficult to get rid of was to actually put and doing like this see how it's doing? it's fitting it through I just need to do it slowly. 
until it makes it the end. And then I just go from the middle. Be able to see, we just have a tiny bit of white, and now we just do really quick pushes, and we'll do the rest of the job. closed. Nothing showing. We have a perfect splicing. Done. 